G'day folks, check this out. <sighs> it's actually not even all that cold. It's been raining and the humidity's quite high and it's a little bit cool. <sighs> That's why you can see my breath so easily. <laughs> In this video, I'm gonna be doing a product review and I'm reviewing Daiwa J Braid. A while back there I was in need of some new fishing line for my Murray Cod Rod and Reel. The line I was using was running low, I needed to go and top up. So I happened to be in Yarrawonga so I ducked into Lake Mulwala Fish Camp Ski over in Mulwala to buy some new line. They didn't stock the line that I normally use but the lovely Vanessa Bennett suggested that I try Daiwa J Braid. In case you uh, don't know Vanessa Bennett, she's that blonde haired bird from over in Yarrawonga that always outfishes her husband Tony. Anyway, Lake Moala Fish Camp Ski, great store, let's give them a shout out. But I bought the J Braid, it was quite cheap. This one cost me 35 bucks for 150 metres of 50 pound braid. If you've never bought braided line before, that might be quite an expensive price. But those of you that have bought braid in the past will know that you can pay a lot more than that for a spool of braid. Now, I've gone for 50 pound. Now the Daiwa J Braid, or the one that I chose anyway, is... Uh, multi-coloured. If you have a look at that, I don't know whether the camera is going to focus on that or not. It's looking for my face. There we are, there we are, look. See it's all different colours. I think the reasoning behind that is I think every metre or every couple of metres it changes colour so that you can just keep track of how much line you've got out if you're trawling or you just need to know how much line you've got out. Personally, I think that that is 100% gimmick. I don't find myself looking at it. It looks pretty on the reel and that's about the only benefit I get out of it. But perhaps for some people it might be really beneficial to know exactly how much line they've got out. So, Daiwa J Braid, 50 pound. This is a 100% non-bias review. I went in, I paid for this. I've got no affiliation with Daiwa. In fact, this is quite likely to be the only Daiwa product I've got in this shed. Oh, and I've got an old Daiwa reel over the back here on one of my bait rods as well. So what do I think of it? I love it. I absolutely love it. At first, when I put this on my baitcaster reel, I found it was a little bit more prone to overspooling than other lines that I've used. It just seemed to come off really easy. It was a little bit slippery, and I just had to be really cautious with my thumb and make sure that I was ready to quickly thumb the spool before it overspooled. And I got a few backlashes. I found the line to be quite limp, quite slippery, and very strong. Over time, I don't know whether it's because I've gotten used to it or whether it's because it's just worn in, I'm not sure. But I bought this back in, I think it was February, maybe March, only about two or three months ago. But I'm absolutely loving it. Whether I've got used to it or whether it's gotten worn in, I don't know. But I find that I can cast with precision accuracy better than any other line that I've used. Let's just read what it says on the back. It'll be some kind of really beaut sales pitch. Diver J Braid times eight. I think that means it's got eight strands in the braid. It's braided with eight little strands, I think. What does it say? The lower diameter round profile offers excellent abrasion resistance. Well, it may very well. I haven't had any issues there. Thanks to the eight strand weave. So that's what the times eight is. The super smooth surface will allow long and accurate cast to be achieved with ease. Definitely, I agree. I find I can cast it further than the other lines I've used, and I definitely find it helps with my casting accuracy. And if you follow my uh, channel, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I bang on about casting accuracy quite a lot, because it's critically important for any form of lure fishing or lure casting. Accuracy is everything, unless you're in a big open lake where you're just blind casting as far as you can, but when you're casting the snags or whether you're casting a spinner for trout, casting accuracy is everything. And I'd find the Diver J Braid is excellent for that. So what else does it say? Round profile? To be quite honest, is an all fishing line round? I've never used any square fishing line, but if you have, leave a comment below and tell me about it. <laughs> but round profile sounds good. Super smooth. Give that a thumbs up, I definitely agree. It's smoother than any braided line that I've ever used. It's not rounder, but it's definitely smoother. Maximum abrasion resistance. Well, so far so good, I haven't had any issues there. Ultra soft and flexible, and extremely low stretch. Yeah, I agree 100%, pretty much with all that. The only thing I'm questioning is the round part. I've never known any other fishing line to be anything but round. What else does it say? 
La Profil Parfri Elementa Rondi Keta Tressi Eight Brins Louis. Oh, hang on, that's the wrong language. Go the distance with Super Braid, Super Eight Braid. So, folks, that's only a short review. There's not really much else to tell you. I think this is my. Uh, let's let's summarise. Let's make a real quick summary after I untangle it. My quick summary. The, the fancy colours are very pretty and all, but it's just a gimmick. It says that it's round. Well, I've never used square line yet or rectangular line. And everything else it says is spot on. It's, it's strong, it doesn't stretch, it casts very well, it's smooth. As at first it seemed a little bit awkward to cast. I think maybe more experienced fishermen will enjoy it more than people that haven't cast a bait caster before. But it didn't take me very long to get my eye in and now I uh, now can cast with precis precision, accuracy, dive a J braid. Very, very well priced, very good product, an absolute recommendation from me. Unsponsored, great line.